Hey guys, welcome to First Time Mom Mistakes. My name is Kathy, and today I want to share with you five of my absolute stupidest mistakes with homemade baby food. Now, before I get into that, I want to just show you how I made baby food to begin with. I believe in the absolute simplest approach to everything. The least amount of time spent, the better. So what I did was I used my Instant Pot to cook the vegetable or the fruit and then the Nutribullet to blend it. That's it. That was basically my entire process with making baby food. Now, probably by the end of this video, you'll think I'm absolutely retarded having heard all of these mistakes. However, maybe it will save one of you from making the same mistake in the future. So let's jump right into it. My very first mistake was blending baby food with breast milk and then freezing it for future use. Now, with many recipes, you'll see at the end, hey, uh, when you're blending this food after it's been cooked, if you need to add some liquid and the options listed are water, formula, or breast milk. So, you know, obviously all of those are valid options and I thought, well, okay, if I'm gonna blend it with my breast milk and feed the baby and then I need to, you know, obviously I have a lot so I need to store it for future use. Why can't I just freeze it? I freeze my breast milk, right? Wrong. <laughs> so if you've ever tasted your own breast milk after it's been frozen and defrosted, it turns out that it's super bitter. I don't know why babies ever drink it, continue to drink it after it's been defrosted, probably because all the nutritious value is still there. But the problem is when that's been blended with food, they start paying more attention to the taste and they just refuse to eat whatever baby food you made, which is what happened to me. So that was a complete fail. After that disaster, I never blended my baby food with breast milk again because I generally would prep it and then freeze it um, since my baby you know, would not eat through my whole batch. So very first mistake. My second mistake was storing baby food in glass containers in the freezer. Now, let me backtrack on this a little bit. I was actually going to get silicone bags, which I eventually got, but my husband, who sometimes likes to chime in with his advice, told me, hey, we have glass containers. Why don't you just use those? We use them for the fridge. And I thought, why not? As a whole, we were just trying to avoid using any kind of plastic containers or plastic bags. Um, there is some concern with health effects of all of that, and I can link that information in the description if you guys are interested. Um, so I was trying to stay away from plastic. So, you know, glass, silicone, all of that seemed valid. Well, turns out this is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. So, you know, you have a glass container like this, and you have your, that's still my frozen baby food right there. And what happens when it freezes is everything just sticks to the glass. So you can't drop it to make it all come apart because it's glass and you can't defrost it because then you defrost everything. So you're stuck just trying to pry it apart with a knife and then one of your little you know, baby foods just goes flying across the kitchen and you lose all of your hard work. So I was super, super mad, <laughs> stupid idea. So just passing that on, um, probably not your best bet. Eventually I got the silicone bags and I will link those as well um, in the description of this video. They have been great. You can drop them, everything comes apart um, and very easy to use. So my very third, mistake was again you can kind of see not labeling anything <laughs> the logic behind this for me was hey i know what color everything is right so i know that carrot is orange and apple is kind of you know this whitish yellowish color um and i just you know i know all my foods broccoli is green right the problem <laughs> as I discovered later, was that 
I actually overestimated myself. So for a couple of days, I was feeding what I thought was carrot to my baby. And I was super surprised because the baby did not want to eat carrot um, puree at all. And I'm telling my husband like, hey, she's eating carrot puree. This is so awesome. You know, we've made progress. Then I kind of tasted it again and I realized, you know, this reminds me of something. And I went back to the freezer and I realized that I was actually giving her mango puree, which for some reason tasted close enough to me that I thought it was carrot. And you can make the same mistake with apple and cauliflower and a bunch of other stuff. So again, is it retarded? Absolutely. Why did I do that? I don't know. But basically stupid mistake number three was not labeling anything, even though everybody says label your food. So let's go into mistake number four. Your baby initially will not want to eat a lot. You know, they're trying new things. So you're really trying to make small batches, even though they're good for three months in the freezer, your baby's trying a lot of different things. So you don't want your entire freezer to be full of frozen baby puree, right? So I was trying to make batches as small as possible. Well, it turns out that it's a very, very bad idea to try to make a small batch in a, an adult size blender like this Nutribullet because it just would not blend. And then I would keep adding liquid to it, you know, to try to make it blend. And by the time it would blend, it would just be this watered down version of whatever it was. And it didn't taste good to me. So, you know, my baby didn't like it either. So again, not the smartest idea. I would not recommend it. <laughs> so if you want to make small batches, probably want to stick with one of those baby size blenders, but as much research as I did, I could not find one that had good reviews. And I know that there's baby food makers. So it's like a whole thing that will, you know, has a container where you cook the food and then it blends the food in the same thing. But basically most of them are plastic. And as I said, we're trying to avoid plastic. That plastic is actually heating up. So it's even worse. Um, and the only glass ones that I found, everybody was complaining about um, the quality. So I could not use that either. But anyway, long story short, bigger batches for full-size blenders is what I learned the hard way. And my fifth and final mistake was not following the recipe. So this is probably a no-brainer, but you know, after a while making baby food, I thought like, hey, I kind of know some stuff. So, you know, I can just start using my own approaches, right? Let me give you a couple of really stupid examples. One was I was always pureeing my foods in the blender. So when I decided to make a potato puree, I thought, why are they saying, you know, to to do the whole thing manually. Like I can just put the potatoes in the blender. It's gonna blend the potatoes. Everything's gonna be great. You're probably thinking like, what, what is she talking about? Yeah, um, in case one of you didn't know, apparently when you blend potatoes in a blender, so you're essentially beating the potatoes a little bit, they become this gelatinous substance that will dangle from your fork. Super gross, definitely could not give that to the baby and never wanna try that again myself either. Um, another really sad example was I made a blueberry puree once and it tasted amazing. You know, the baby loved it. So I just, you know, fresh blueberries and I just pureed them. So I thought, awesome. And I refrigerated the puree for the next day, even though the recipe said, you're gonna need to use this right away. I'm like, well, why? You know, I'm gonna refrigerate it. <laughs> the next day, I thought I was gonna give my baby some blueberry puree, and turns out that during the overnight refrigeration process, the solid part and the liquid part completely separates. It no longer is this super amazing, delicious jello. It's this kind of hard, fruit, stuff, and water. 
So again, <laughs> not a good idea to refrigerate blueberry puree overnight. Um, you just basically need to eat the whole thing that you made right away. So those are my top five mistakes that I made. Again, yes, pretty retarded, but hey, maybe one of you was heading in the same direction. So that's why I made this video. If you are new to this channel, please check out my other first time mom mistakes. I have made plenty of them and I will see you again in the next video.